What's up everyone? Welcome back to Marshall Metal Detecting. Today I am out and I am at a old foundation of a barn. I found it on Google Maps on my computer the other day. And uh, so I was going going around and uh, I saw what looked like to be a foundation on on the ground out, out here in this field and right off the side of the road. And what is now, it's actually a, uh, a game area. So you can actually go out here and hunt. It's public, free for the public to go out and hunt. It's just started pouring, of course, right when I got here. So I might give it a minute to calm down on the rain a little bit. But here, let me swing the camera around. I'll show you this foundation. So I was looking at this foundation out there. I don't know if you can see it. Now from uh, Google Maps, if you were to get down to the road view, um, as if uh, you know the Google car was driving past, there was a white barn right there and uh and now it's gone so i don't know it's only been maybe a year or two um possibly since they last updated their maps I don't, i'm not sure when but uh so i'm gonna go out there it looks like uh the grass isn't too long it's not too thick um it's not too tall so it should be decent hunting um i've got my root slayer shovel in the back um so i may take that out there with me uh and see what i find so don't forget, go ahead, smash that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon so that you know when I put out another video, you'll get a little notification. All right, let's do this. All right, here I am out at the foundation. It's kind of grown in already in there. So it's been a while since this barn's been here, but the grass is kind of thick. It's about a foot tall, but doing my root slayer. It's got the big handle and it's kind of serrated down here. So that'll cut through the side, no problem. And then of course I got the Garrett Pro Pointer, Lush Digging Tool and AT Pro. So I wonder, look, there's a, right out there is a windmill what used to be an old windmill so what i'm wondering is I, I forgot to look on the old historical maps i wanted to see before i came out here i completely forgot but uh i wanted to check to see where the old home site would have been you know maybe if the house was over here or maybe it was just inside of on you know on this side of the tree but I don't know. There probably was an old house out here as well at some point. I don't see any indication of one though. So I'll look around and see what I can find. Um, the rain kind of held off a little bit, so um, I'm going to get started here. There's a lot of shotgun shells out here. I could already see quite a few on the ground. So I may have to dig a few of those, but um, yeah, I'm going to look for anything. Uh, Hopefully maybe we'll get some relics out here by this barn. So, all right, stay tuned. So I really haven't even gotten started yet. I was just getting my gear and uh, just looking in this, in this little uh, container here. Um, look, we've got, if you can see down in there, we've got an old tin can, a bottle, uh, some plastics. Looks like a oil filter down there maybe. Um, man, that's part of a sink down there. Looks like ceramic or porcelain. Um, and then right down here, like it's one of those uh, old pull tabs. That's just sitting on top there. And what's this? Some kind of little container. That might be kind of fun to dig through. It's kind of an old can. Oh yeah, it's an old beer can or something. What is this? What does that say? Chocolate flavored something. Cow. Must have been the old chocolate milk or something. There you go. Cow power. <laughs> Never heard of this stuff. Cow power. Interesting. I might keep that. We'll see. I'll have to do a little research on it. But yeah, just sit right in here in this little uh, compartment here. This little 
foundational part. I, mean, I don't know what part of the built, what part of the barn this was, but what's this? Oh, it's just a stick. Barbed wire fence, shotgun shell. It's another bottle. Hey, what's this? Mystic. So that's not too old. I think I remember these drinks. Let's look on the other side real quick. Let me take my headphones off. broken bottle down there. It's kind of hard to see, sorry. There's a lot of vines in here. I'm not seeing too much of anything else, so I'll just try to get metal detecting here and see what I find when I come back. All right, man. Looks like Bob scratched his, uh, in his name into this uh, foundation when it was poured. Not sure who that was, just a couple nails there with it. But uh, Bob F.E. it looks like. That's the end of it though right there, so. Not sure who that was, I'll have to do some research. Here you go. It's a recent shotgun shell that was fired. And yeah, it looks like this place was burnt down. If you didn't notice that before. Uh, but yeah, it must have burnt down recently. But, so there's so many of these out here, these shotgun shells. So just out of curiosity sake, I'm gonna go over here in this empty space and maybe over by that uh, windmill and see what I can uh, come up with, see what, what kind of signals I can find. It's a lot of the same signals out here, these uh, shotgun shells. So uh, I'll see if I can get some higher tones over here or some lower tones, uh, try to find some relics. So um, we'll see, all right, let's go. I got a pretty good signal here. Nice repeatable signal. It's right up near the surface, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig this one. Well, wasn't anything really, just a little piece of sheet metal. So, all right, we're gonna go uh, get a little bit closer to this windmill, see what we can get. Check that tree too. All right, just underneath the windmill, as you can see. And just had a nice uh, repeatable signal here up in the, you know, the low 80s. And there's something metal in here, so I'm going to take a look at it. See what this is. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> State game area, no motorized, motorized vehicles allowed, Department of Natural Resources. So this was probably sitting up here somewhere. But that's cool. There's a surface find for you. Not metal, but an old golf ball. I don't see any uh, brand on it. Oh yeah, it is. What do we got? Regal 90. Never heard of it. Pretty old. I don't know any people out there ever heard of it. I'm gonna keep it for sure, because I am a golfer. So that's pretty awesome. Cool, man. All right. All right, here you go. And uh, looks like maybe a fence post cap or some kind of cap. Got the screws still in there. Uh, it's the first time I used a root slayer on a dig. Uh, did pretty good. Got right down in there and popped it loose. And then I used my uh, um, lush digging tool to clean out the inside because it was packed full of dirt. So uh, yeah, pretty sweet. So I'll put that in a bag, old relic. But uh, I don't know if I'll keep it, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. All right, off to the next one. So I'm just looking at these trees and looking the way they're situated. That big old tree there. You know, I just, I wonder if the house is right up there by the road. 
just sit sitting right in there in between all these trees right here seems to be a little grassy area up there so I'm gonna go check that out maybe the house wasn't back here by the barn maybe it's just right up here by the road so I mean these look like you know big oak trees or maple trees I'm not sure which kind but those are good shade trees so I'm gonna check this out up here see if I can get some higher tones or something different than what these uh, shotgun shells are I am just getting a little bit closer and got a signal which was kind of some junk metal couldn't really tell what it was but I also popped this out of the hole which looks like it was uh, maybe a, from a plate or a cup or something like that and that tells me that we're getting close to an old house so I think that's uh, I think we're on the you know on the right track so keep going in here all right see you in a bit all right just got in here and at the base of this tree you guys look at what I found I think I may have found an old well possibly let's check this out you got to see this look So that is pretty cool. Maybe a well. So I'm gonna get in here, maybe, uh, I haven't got in there yet. I haven't put the metal detector in there yet. I just found it. So I wanted to show it to you first. Right at the base of this tree, this big old tree. So look at this, this little area right here. There's gotta been a house right in there. That would've been perfect, all these big shade trees. So yeah, let's uh, see what we can find. Maybe there's something in here. All right, check it out. I just put the camera up here and uh, I'm gonna jump in this well. Uh, there are some tones in there. Um, I have no idea what to expect to find. So I'm gonna get in there with my pin pointer and the uh, digging tool. We'll see what we, what we can get. All right, check this out. Got some clay bricks. I'll get those out of the way. A lot of leaves and uh, brush in here. Ooh. I got a vertebrae from some kind of animal, probably a deer. Shotgun shell, of course. Oh. It's a nice little rock. I'll keep that. All right, turn my head around, get down to business. Now I'm monotone right now. What would be cool, also this is a well or like an old outhouse um, find some bottles in here bottles uh, you know pottery um, what, whatever else you know kitchen utensils things like that all right here we go first find is an old square nail so that's really awesome <laughs> that's cool can't really see it it's only about an inch inch and a half but that's a square nail that's a really good sign that um, you know this was probably a home site um, I'm not sure what they use this uh, little cellar here for but we'll keep on digging another bone a much bigger square nail Another big square nail.
another nail. Ooh. Some glass. It's a good sign. Small square nail. Planter's peanut glass. That's the little planter's guy on there. Peanut guy. So here's what I came back with. Right now, just a bunch of square nails. Different shapes, or shapes, different sizes. This one's pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, so I'm sure that thing is a jackpot. The only problem is it's raining and everything's turning to mud. So I'm just gonna call it quits on that thing for now. I'll come back to it another time, absolutely. In the meantime, I think I'm just going to go out into the grass and look for more uh, high signals, look for some coins maybe, some old relics. Um, all right, let's see if we can get some more. Yeah, hey, so I uh, cleaned up my mess in that, uh, what I think is a, either an outhouse or a well. Um, I just cleaned that up and uh, I talked to the guy and uh, his son, they're going out to hunt for some spring turkey. And uh, he told me that uh, this, this site right here, um, would have had a house on it about 200 years ago. So, um, this is a great, a great spot, uh, that I found. So I'm going to do, do some more detecting, man, it's raining. I don't think it's going to stop, but, um, I'm not going to stop either. Cause this is a good site and, uh, I'm taking full advantage of the day. So let's see what we can get. Wish me luck. All right, guys, I am wrapping it up for the day. Starting to get soaking wet, but uh, had a great time. Looked at this foundation. Um, had a really good time. Didn't find a whole lot out here, uh, but I did find that well. That was really cool to stumble across. Um, it just was wide open, uh, not covered or anything. It was exactly how, um, that's how I found it, just how you guys saw it. So next time when it's dry, I want to come back on a nice dry day We'll dig that thing out. I'll bring a little shovel. I've got a small shovel. I'll bring it with me. We'll dig that thing out and we'll see what's down there. I guarantee there's some good stuff down there because I got square nails. Uh, I found some broken glass. Uh, there's those uh, broken clay bricks. So that, those are all good signs. And um, also the guy that was turkey hunting, I want to tell you that uh, he said there's more foundations down the road, a couple more that I can check out. So again, this all, it's great because it's all public property. So. Um, there'll be no problems. I don't even have to get permission. So I'm going to check those out soon uh, and see what we can get. So I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, pinpoint that thumbs up button. Give me a big thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will get notified the next time I make one. So, all right, take care. Get out there and find your treasure. See ya.